Hey, what is up, people? It is your boy, Johnny, and today we're going to continue our adventure of Pokemon Legend Arceus. So, I kind of skipped over the grinding part because it's really not that exciting to watch while playing this game because why would you want to watch the grinding part where I have to go and capture a lot of Pokemon and complete some research tasks? It's just kind of repetitive, so I decided to go ahead and do that task on my own, and now I decided to go ahead and continue the game where we have to. So we're going to go ahead and continue the storyline. I believe we had to go ahead and talk to Silene. That way we can access the next area in order to be able to continue and quell the final Pokemon, I believe. I think it is the final Pokemon. Oh, you made progress on your research task. If you have progress to report, I will judge this word and show me your Pokedex. Yes, I will become the next ranked because, yeah, I finished it. Um, you have made progress. Seems you have earned yourself a star. Still a couple more stars left, actually. These are kind of like gym badges, though. But I'm not sure if exactly if it is. Well, this you officially attained the rank of this star in the Galaxy Expedition. You can now use Wing Balls. Pokemon up to level 65 will obey your orders in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now to me. Add this as well to further your crafting. Wing Balls, okay. Continue to dedicate yourself completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise r higher in the ranks. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the survey corps I can task with serving in the Albaster's Iceland. You know your order. See your mission through. So this is kind of like No Point City, I would believe. And we have to get more side missions here as well. The Sea Legend, a Pokemon or something. Oh, jolly, good choice there, Johnny. I see you taking on the request I posted. Let me fill you in right away. I was strolling through the Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way from the shore. Rather regrettable, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I would assume it was your swimmer was some sort of Pokemon. From the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting in the ocean current now. If I'm not mistaken, from the seas behind Jubilife, that would take it all the way to cold black coastlands. This is rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed for some specific purpose. In the circumstance, I was thinking that we spoke to the good warden, Iskan of the Diamond Clan. We might learn more. I got your message, Professor Laventon. So, uh, you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming toward the cold back coastlands? Yes. Well, I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you much based on that alone. But there is one thing I can tell you. I heard that long ago, the Coldback Coastlands was known that E, C, and Princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. The story of the Princely... Princely Pokemon can be found in the tome called the Sea Legends, but no one knows much about it either to the tome or it's still beyond what if I just told you. So, um, that's all I know. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. Um, I'll just take my leave here then. The Sea Legends. I don't know what that is about. So we're to make it to the Albuster Icelands. That's right. 
I see. Of course, I'm well too aware that injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But the Avulag out in the Albuster's eyeless lands has it harmed the soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avulag is a great mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Johnny out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering and it's frenzy like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't yet understand when it comes to noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies are truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place. And this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it? I wonder that Commander hopes will come about from Marquellium, the nobles, or indeed from serving any of the Pokemon of this land. What he hopes to achieve. A way to coexist? Certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Laventon. Oh, nothing to bother yourself about. Doubtless, I was just being a silly sausage. You got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Johnny? Then we'll support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is a chance to practice your battle skills. I'm gonna win. Glad. The fact that we'll be able to grow as much as Survey Corp and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. I also leveled up my Typhlosion to level 50 while I was out training or catching different Pokemon. Uh, it's still doing pretty good damage though. I'm better at battling though. Damn it, Typhlosion really went down. Well, at least this level 50 Toxic Quark will now obey me. There's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. By your mission in the Icelands, well, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off to Albuster's Icelands Wharf with. See you there, my boy. You hear reports of one of those mass outbreaks out there. Stay safe, kid. I think that's the final island. Has to be the final one. Looks pretty cool though. Albuster's Icelands. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to the Albuster's Icelands apart from Tao Hao, leading to the old supply corps excursion to gather materials. The survey corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. 
From what I gather, I speak arena where you will find Avulog is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, this mission to tackle Avulog will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can find from Marita and Adaman and try to keep yourself safe. Johnny Briss out here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a diamond clan thing or a pearl clan thing. It's just you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how could we could as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such being even does exist, it's only not almighty sinnoh. That says, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher. He's the only one who ever found one in place. Which is? You're talking about the Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avul's legacy, obviously, where else but a great mass of ice could have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder. Or else, indeed, ready to go, Johnny? Do I have to follow them? Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about time passing them by. See you, Avaglaw's legacy, Johnny. Take care on your own way. The Sumbering Lord. Lord. Why did I even take a rest? I think my Pokemon already healed. Well, in that case, I have to... Should have got more storage stuff. I hate when I can't catch up Pokemon. The hell. I was about to say I have to fly through there, but not really. Why did he stop with my the joy kindness? Okay, uh This one does look cool, but when are we gonna get the fly? Palm is down here. A oh, weird Pokemon to be down there. Capturing them all just in case. From here, I can capture this one. I should be good on the ice, though.
It's always good to battle them as well. Unlock stuff for their Pokedex entry. Battle this hunter because I hate how he gave me hypnosis. Probably capturing another one wouldn't hurt either. The good thing is that the status effects don't really stay after you catch your Pokemon or something. Oh, I already had three of them. Big mistake then. Evolution, might as well capture it. Wow, it actually took me down. Can I make some? Getting kind of annoying.
how do I get through the other? Gotta face it in a battle, one of them at least. Why the heck did that take me over there? So, the reason I'm also like capturing like a bunch of them is because you guys already know how difficult it is to rank up in here. Like you literally gotta rank up if you want to make it further. Huh? 
Man, I don't really have time for this bullcrap. I'm about to escape out of the battle. I'm gonna have to go back. To Snowfield's camp because, you know, screw that. <laughs> 